it's not ten gold. And he goes, oh, you shut up over there. Too bad it wasn't in And Jackson, were they speaking huh? in common? Yeah, they're, they're, they're were speaking, they speaking in, in common. common. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are definitely speaking in common. I don't, I don't know this game. Oh, I look to the, the <coughs> group behind us and I wave them in. Oh, lots of cultists. Ah, oh, we take all your money. Uh, you know, tell, eh? us giants love money. Oh, yes. So what we'll basically do is do a, an intelligence contest is basically how we'll do that because I'm sure we'll, you know, draw all day at uh, at tic-tac-toe, so... <laughs> right. But we'll just do intelligence checks and, you know... You know uh, oh, oh, no! no! First, anyway. you know, old, old car, he, he throws down uh, he throws down a couple uh, gold pieces, ten gold, and he says, alright, who's first? I'm the champion here of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> oh, rules weird. too hard to understand for Donk. Me not get rules for tic tac toe. <laughs> Carg looks back at Donk. Just watch. And he says, "Mall, I'm gonna take your money today too." And they, they, Carg and Mall, they're just kind of bickering back and forth with one another. But you can also see a uh, another door to the north. Kind of like how I slid that in there. And you can also mm -hmm. see another door. And then there's the two fissures uh, where King Drexa had told you about. Like, actually lead down to the the Black Geode. Alright. Well, I step forward and I say, okay. Did you say ten gold or twenty? Uh, ten gold! <laughs> alright, alright. I'm in. Um, <laughs> I, I throw my gold down. My ten gold. Alright, so go ahead and do uh, an intelligence check. Alright. Oh, Whoop! Wrong one. Ooh, oh, that that was a close game. Ooh, but you uh, see, you got three in a row. Ooh, you beat Clark. Uh, we'll we'll call that beginner's luck. Oh well, you know we could do double or nothing. So he, he takes his. Ooh, what? What does what what double nothing mean? Well, it means that we both put in, you know, another ten gold, and the winner takes all. Hmm. So I put in five. And ten you more gold. Put in twenty. No, you put oh. in ten more. I put in ten more. Okay. All right, let's, let's do it. All right, so good old Cargy, he digs into his pocket. You don't do double or nothing if you've already won. I think it's what you've confused the DM. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, no. Double or no, double or nothing means that you're just giving him the opportunity to win it back with a double bet. So yeah. But no, I'm I'm just trying to RP the 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 giant, you know, and he's kind of like scratching so, yeah, his head and stuff. Oh, let 21. me let me do let me do my intelligence check. And That's you guys are usually say. you guys are playing your game, and you uh, you beat him the same exact way as you did last time, basically uh, straight diagonal. Yay! Ah! Yeah, you're good at this game. Hmm, do you have more gold, <laughs> or have I tapped you out? <laughs> Carg has lots of gold, and he shakes his bag, and it jingles. Oh, how much are you willing to bet? I I bet to, and then I use mall money. Ha ha ha! Mall owe me anyway. You're just beginner luck. 
I look to the rest of the group. Anybody want to take a shot at this? Or no donks out. I don't understand game. I think uh, you got this one. All right. So I uh. Do have it on the control. I I scoop up my forty gold from the pile there, twenty of which was mine. Mm -hmm. And then I drop. Let me see here. Let me see how much money I got. I drop uh, 20 gold down on the ground. So will you bet me 20 gold on, on one last game? We'll see if my be if my beginner's luck runs out. It's got to, right? Uh, yeah! Card win now! And he throws down 10 more. Right. Gold. I put down 20. He better be putting down 22. Oh! Uh, 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 you do the nothing double bet again? The discount double check? All right. 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 I put down gold, and he throws down twenty more. Well, that sucked. All drats. Same thing. God three, damn. Three in a row this time. You, you had, uh, you've, you've bested Karg, and Maul comes over and kind of pushes, pushes Karg out of the way, and. And Maul says, All right, Pooty Bones, you want to play me? Yeah, you play, you play Maul now. All right, I'm scooping up my money. Get back in my pack. How much? Uh, ten gold, did you say? Ten gold. Beginner luck. I put down a, I put down another, another, a fresh ten gold, brand new game. All right. Pocket the rest. So, watch me roll one. You ready for it? Yep, if we could only hope. <clears throat> oh, shit, I'm rolling shit today. Well, drat! Holy shit, really? <laughs> you won again! How much gold you got, man? Pooty bones, none of your business! Hmm. So, maybe we should play for something else. Play for what? You know? I, I'm scooping up the money. I'm putting it in my bra. Well. You said bra. It's what I said. <laughs> uh, I said, well, I will bet you that if I lose this game, you can have all of your money back that you've lost right now. Or yeah. mm. we can just... Uh, Beyond, we can just uh, go ahead about our business here and, uh, you know, you'll let us pass. You come back anytime, play. You're lucky, though. Someone else, some other Purdy Bones play. Purdy Bones! Purdy Bones! Play! Oh, you want someone else to play? Okay. I think you're cheating! No, no, not me, never. Right, one of you come up here and play for our our safe pa our passage through here, so we can, you can uh, move cultists along. to them. There is no passage. I mean, you just they were expecting cultists to play anyway, from the sounds of it. Oh, I didn't know if they were going to allow us to continue. <clears throat> no, there's yeah, there, the there's whole yeah, there's, yeah, absolutely. You guys are just kind of passing passing through. Well, okay, I didn't know. Hey, Prime, didn't how's know it going? They would let us through. Alrighty then, somebody else get up there and throw down some gold. Stop being a bunch of wusses back there. My money. So Growl, Rojar, Elsa? I'm not. Oh, I stopped gambling years ago. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Well, it looks like my friends don't have the courage to uh, step up here and, and play you. I'm, I'm sorry, gentlemen. They just scared loose all gold to Maul and Karg, but you're pretty good, though. What's your name, cultist? Elora. Elora? That don't sound like no cultist's name. Wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, you come back, you play Karg Maul any time. Maybe next Alrighty, time we I'll get take your you up money. On that. You play? Ooh, we got a troll here. A little trolley. 
You play troll? I'm not no troll. I'm gonna say something in giant. <laughs> I'm gonna say in giant. I'm a giant. In giant. He says I'm a giant. Goliath. <laughs> oh. Oh, you 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 want to be giant, okay. No. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Old Cargan Mall. Well, um, perhaps on our on our once we are done here, you know our call our duties, uh, we will return and and play again. <laughs> okay, he he pulls out a Mall pulls out a like a, he's got a huge bag, you know, with gold and stuff. You can hear it rattling around, and he pulls out this head by the hair, you know, it has like a like long hair. And he says, Ah, oh, maybe next time you play me for my head. He says, Ah, oh, my favorite trophy. I may even put it to bet next time. Hmm. Oh, well, that what's, would be interesting. What's your trophy? You bet. My trophy, huh? Yeah. Show He's ball! Paid. And he hits, his, he hits his club on the, on the floor a couple times. Show ball! I'll show you his. You show me yours. <laughs> Trophy now! Ah, and he hits his club a couple times. <laughs> Hold on, I'm rooting through my pack. <laughs> Be patient with me now. I've got a lot of things in here that I consider trophies. He's he's kind of getting he he's getting a little bit closer to you, and he goes and he's kind of looking curious, and he and he's kind of like kind of leaning over. What you got in bag? Any any good? What trophy you have? As he starts to sound like Yoda, of course, you know. Yoda uh, or Spanish, it's all my accents. It's it's all Or Grover. Me. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. Well I take out a, and of course I have no intentions of betting this, but I take out a diamond. Oh see if that impresses him. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> You, uh, you have rock like in wall. That one no glow. You though. got nice rocks. Hey, nice rocks. Those no glow though. Well, I can make it glow. See? Speaking of which, I, I did want to investigate one of these crystals while they're doing that. Sure. Yeah, go for it. You can. Uh, ye mm. Let's see. Give me a. I would say give me some type of. I'd say Arcana check. While she's doing that, see if I have the spell. Oh, we don't. I I cast light, one of my things, onto this onto this stone. Okay. All right. So it's it sheds a very bright light in his face because this is dimly lit in here, and he's just mm -hmm. <laughs> Moss says, "Turn it off! Turn it off!" I, I wave my hand and dismiss it. Oh, it it oh it magic stone. You wave your hands like seer. Mm -hmm. You put magic on that stone. Yes. Yes, I did put magic on the stone. <clears throat> it's a, it's it's a stone that has my magic. If if it were your stone, if you were to win it from me, then it might do magic for you. But Maul had no magic. Maul just smashed it with club, and he smashes it on the ground a couple times. The floor kind of cracks a little bit. Kind of spider webs underneath his club. So of course, I'm just entertaining up. him. You oh, know, so that yeah, he doesn't really pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, they, as for the the rocks, you can tell that they're. Uh, the rocks are some type of like natural phenomenon, and you know you you've seen these before, actually in towers, and you know a lot of mages will use these rocks to illuminate you know portions of the tower and, and whatnot. So it, these are just like a a rock that is just imbued with a with candy light source. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 
they don't have any kind of monetary value. I mean, they would have a, a small monetary value, but not much. Not worth the, the effort to break one off of a wall or you know, something like that. They would only really cost a couple silver, probably. So he takes his head and puts it back into his bag and goes, Ah! Ah! Ma, keep head! Ma, just keep head! Okay. I put the diamond in, in back into my pack. They're pretty, pretty glass, though. Pretty glass. Oh, it, it is my trophy. Mm. So, just a set of yours. So Karg comes over and he says, Okay, Ma, uh, okay, Ma, we'll, we'll start to, you know, he's coercing Maul into playing more of this tic-tac-toe and Maul is you know <laughs> saying that he already owes him money and well I'll give you a chance to win it back and blah 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 you know they're just kind of bickering back and forth so they start mm -hmm. to play their tic-tac-toe game again so what I, are you I guys I kind of poke my head in this door to see what's in there I know my curiosity is probably gonna <clears throat> kick my ass, but no, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. And while they're distracted, I just want to uh, not look too suspicious down here, but I want to kind of sniff around these crates and stuff. Look at them, see if anything looks suspicious. Yeah, as you're kind of walking around on there, it's just uh, you know, a, a couple uh, leather type of of sleeping mats. Actually, pretty nice sleeping mats, and just basically supplies of uh, probably not even supplies that the giants would use. You know, just more basic equipment stuff like that. Alrighty, okay, team, we uh, go ahead and move along. And I kind of just walk around them. Yeah, the 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 door Head that to the back door. Yeah, the, the door that you had opened up, uh, there is a, sort of like as you look into the hall, there is a, sort of like a black mist that was kind of floating in the middle of the chamber. You know, as it looked like, and it was transparent, you could see through this, this mist or smoke or cloud, whatever it was that was in the doorway. And you could see that it went into a like a like a larger cavity of 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 an earthen opening. Okay. Well, well, I'm sure we'll be going back that way, and I'll check, <clears throat> uh, do an arcana check or something to see if I can figure out what that is. Okay. So, do you guys want to go north, or do you want to go? Well, east? I mean, there's still stuff in this room. I see that the glowing purple stuff from the rocks that. Kind of like a looks like there's a passage to the right there where Growl is. I I'm thinking we might want to go look what's down that passage. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, you were told by the king that that goes down to the to the to the geode. The black geode. So let's see this going right. down. Yes, uh, you know the the fissure kind of goes into the wall, and then you can see some stairs starting to descend. And actually, the stairs are are made out of this this purplish illuminating crystal, and it descends down into you know that it descends down into the black geode. Well, let's start. Let's go down there. Let's do the black geode. I knew they were going to do this, so I don't have That's the black real. geode ready. Of course. Don't always number one. Don't always number one meat shield. Alright. You guys descend down uh, quite a ways. I'd say at least, at least a good three, four, five hundred yards. A you know, a twisting maze of, of basically corridors, stairs leading Billy down. Maze. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And all you know, the, the one thing is, all of these stairs are illuminated. There are all these purple illuminated stairs, and then you you descend down, and uh, here is the new map. I wasn't wasn't ready for this, so sorry guys, but uh, there you guys are. 
Hopefully, I'm ready for it, Dave. It. I'm raging right now in my mind, getting ready to just flip the switch. <laughs> no. This is a giant, <laughs> a giant cavern. Perfect. <clears throat> you know, as you guys are entering this chamber, you know, the ceiling, the the floor, stalagmites and stalactites, water dripping, uh, all kinds of clumps of these st stalagmites that are, you know, pointing up, stalactites, uh, more of these crystals, you know, providing that violent, that very soft violet light, and then you can see I that the, yes, fuchsia, the cover, the <laughs> <laughs> fuchsia. The, nice, Dave. Thanks. The corridor kind of opens up to the west, and it opens up into a, actually a rather large room. Well, not a. It's a natural room. This is definitely no no architecture about this whatsoever. This is definitely looks all natural. El natural. So the um the light source is being handed off yes. by the by the uh, things. Is it enough to see with, or is it? Because I, I just have I don't have anything special. How far I've does just got the regular light old reach? common eyesight? How yeah. So how far does that light? S oh, my torch. My torch yeah. is like sixty then thirty. You know, sir, yeah. it's a dim. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let me open up a little bit more because you, you... I'm just. I just don't know whether it's a smart move. I don't know if I want to be walking around with a giant torch on fire. But if there's enough light in the room from this light source to be able to understand what's going on, I'd rather snuff my my torch and be able to to kind of move a little bit more stealthily down the down the aisle. Well, um, don't say stealthily. <laughs> well, just just as you're you're fixing to snuff out your torch, uh, because you've already entered the room, you can see towards the where the light is starting to end from your torch, you can see that there are several large statues that are basically maybe guarding, maybe you know they're on each side of another corridor because you know these statues are stone 20 foot tall humanoids and these statues their faces are very grim and it looks like these these are actually masks as you kind of look a little bit closer I, uh, the, the masks look like they're they're actually grim mask sitting on the statues I'm, mm -hmm. I'm telling them to the rest of the house called a bad feeling about this Okay. So nobody well, wants to make the move except me, it looks like. No, no, I'm just looking through my through my spells. Well I'm going to uh start ready. just waiting on you. Yeah, I'm gonna you start only use walking, fireball. What are you, what are you trying to prepare? You only have one one spell. Fireball. Let's no, go. no, no. No, yeah. that's not what it was. I say do flesh to stone and we hack these statues to pieces. Okay, Dave, I right. raise my hand flesh. I raise my hand in front of me yeah. and uh in the direction of these statues and right. I cast detect magic. Alright, so just as you are just as you're fixing to cast detect magic, several individuals come from behind these statues and you have seen these individuals before these are the remember the the type of earthen guards that you had once uh, once encountered many many months ago here's what they look like as they mm -hmm. you know they have that that stony armor with the the club with spikes and their their gauntlets are are all everything is made of stone all of their armor and they step from around the uh, from around the, the the rears of the statue, and they get they are at attention, and then they kind of snap to attention again, and just do not move. They must be rock keister soldiers. Yeah, maybe. I like the uh, picture that you provide. Look at that giant rock thing protecting his junk. 
I knew you were gonna say something like that. I I just imagine that it spins if he just holds himself right, like a drill. Lord have mercy. It's for bumping and grinding. You know it. Talk <laughs> about getting your heart on. <laughs> <laughs> Rock is hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I'm I'm gonna look to you, Laura. You wanna you wanna talk to these guys? Well, I'm looking you back. Wa you, you want Dong to talk to guy? That would well, that would be quite hysterical. They are right, not. They are not there. saying a word to you. Okay, so you walk over Remember, and then we they. Remember, we I'm I'm slowly <laughs> walking up. Yeah, they like move. I out the of the way. Yeah, they move right out of the way for for you. And as you're moving up in your cultist regalia, remember you're wearing your cultist regalia, mm -hmm. they have snapped to attention again as, you get, get, Rogar. as you get close. I'm going to salute. I'm going to salute the guy just when I'm past him. Hello! And then I'm going to walk on through. So as I get behind this statue... I want to take a quick look at it, Dave. Does this statue look like it's carved, like it's created, oh, or yeah, does this statue sure. look like it's been oh, okay? Good deal. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm gonna tap it with my maul. Tap, tap, tap. <clears throat> Little tap, Is tap, it sound tap. Hollow? No, it's solid. It's it's solid stone. And these are humans, basically twenty foot tall statues. They they have uh, definitely look like humans, maybe elves. And they have these masks, and these masks are representing like a, a grim, a grim face, you know, sort of like a, a grim look on the mask. Hey, can I uh, tell you something out of character for a second? Sure, absolutely. Inter interesting, f industry fantasy grounds thing. I double click my token now, and my character sheet comes up. Ah, very cool. Yeah. It never used nice. to do that. Never used to do that. So it's uh, <clears throat> kind of interesting. Oh, that's a, that's a good thing. Yes, everybody has the ability to do that now. Yeah, pretty and as I, as I, and I was, as I was talking to God, I slowly sneak past these guys. All right. So as everybody is uh, trying to act like cultists, why don't we do a group check, and everybody drop a uh, a charisma deception check inside of the tower for me, please. Now we're fucked. Dog. We're the ugliest party ever. No one noticed. You guys got five people. Footage. Three of you have to pass. Wow. And they've. Uh... Come on, Lord. Okay. Guess to log into Fantasy Grounds first. Give him a second. He's still pulling crusts out of his so, eyes. I was uh, looking at uh, the map still. <laughs> still the one. <laughs> In case you're wondering, it's a... Deception check. Deception What's up, check crazy? into the uh, tower. Yep. Deception check. Thanks for pulling tonight. Take your time. No rush. <laughs> So, Laura, role play this out. We're all being sneaky and trying to convince these guys, and then uh, Rogar is like just dragging his feet. What you guys do? Oh, he's like talking to himself in draconic. <laughs> he's still pissed off. I, about I one I'm crouched <laughs> down just a little bit Six. so the ropes cover that's my a, feet so they can tell I'm barefooted. That's a hell of a modifier you got in there at plus thirty-three, Rogar. <laughs> but your role. <laughs> <laughs> you you're okay all oh. all five of you you actually had three successes so the majority seeing that you have five people you got to have three successes so you've got the majority all five of you walk right past these earthen cultists and they don't say anything to you they look straight ahead and then as you walk by the last the last one of you walks by they kind of relax and go back into like a like a parade rest positioning sort of like i guess you could equal that to to a parade rest from the military i don't know what yeah. the, i don't know what that is i think that's when the uh, band and the they stop and and park around the corner when you're yeah. watching a parade and they break out the waterboards yeah, that... um, 
that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I, 